All right, YouTube, 116 Falconer here. Um, <coughs> I did a video a while ago. I got this CVA muzzle loader that uh, <coughs> had a round, had, had two, uh, two powder pellets and a bullet stuck in there. First time the people ever went to use it, misfired, and it sat for five years with the stuff in the barrel there. So I got it, got the uh, got the bullet out, got the pellets out, um, and believe me, the pellets were active as hell. And I mean, you can look at my video, uh, having fun with cannon cord and uh, black powder pellets, and you'll see them things were were live as hell after five years of sitting. So, anyways, in the meantime, I had bought this uh, this. 16 foot USB endoscope, alright, when I was doing my rat battle. Um, glad to say that battle's done. But this thing is pretty much useless. I mean, it's like trying to stick a piece of kite string through a keyhole, you know. Um, so I thought, well, there we go, I wasted 21 bucks, you know. Um, but then somebody had commented on the on the muzzle loader there a couple days ago, and I was like, crap, I knew there was something I could use this on. So what I'm going to do is take this, this uh, endoscope, boroscope here, and scope the barrel to see what it actually looks like in there. Because um, I've been told, you know, oh, you don't want to fire it, you don't want to, you know, leave it the way it is, you know, blah, blah, blah. So... We'll scope it here and uh, and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera up so you see what I'm seeing. Because if I if I uh, just use the video that I'll capture off my crappy ASUS ZenFone 2 laser phone, you know it's like postage stamp size. But if you see it on the monitor, on the actual phone, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. So, let me get the camera up here. Alright, so I'm going to fire, fire up uh, M-Scopes free. Alright, and then you people, if you think you're going to buy this like as a spy camera, you know, this endoscope, it doesn't do well with with uh, distant images. I mean, it's, I think it's more of a macro lens on here, you perverts. So, let's go down the, we're going to go down the barrel here. I mean, it's definitely rusted up. Um, but, and oh, I left the breech plug in too at the bottom there, so. I mean, it's rusted up and beat up. Well, not even beat up. I mean, shit, the thing never got fired, man. <laughs> so, I think if I just, like, uh, load it up with a pellet and some wadding and shoot it out, and maybe put a... I know nothing about these freaking things, so... never. I've never even shot one. But... So we're getting down to the breech plug there. You can see here where where it was stuck there for a while. I mean the camera's not the best, but uh, um, to me, I mean it doesn't look too bad.
it looks clear when you're looking at my phone screen well it may be clear on video too but I mean to me it just looks like a bunch of freaking rust in there I don't see any damage you can see right there where everything was plugged up at Get it out. So that's uh, that's that. Um, I mean, there's actually a use for this, a practical use. Uh, of course, you don't need the uh, 16 foot long one like I bought, like an idiot. You know, you get away, you could do uh, $13 and get the six and a half foot one if you want to, you know, check your, check the barrel. Um, all right, well, that's it. Practical use.